Hey Air Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your um, Twin Flame reading for the week of December 5th through the 13th. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's see what we got. Nice. Your overall energy. Let's see. What is their overall energy? The Four of Wands. Nice air signs. Let's get a, a clarifier. The Sun and the King of Cups. Wow. All right. So um, communication is coming forward. Either you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, are reaching out to somebody or somebody is reaching out to you. But you, communication is coming in on your part. So um, you're going to express to somebody that you want to create something with them. You want to create a new beginning. You want to create this life with this person. Um, it's taking you a lot of courage and strength to put yourself out there. Um, there's a lot of fear here, but you seem to be mastering that very well. This is going to result into a commitment that's based on a solid foundation. Um, yeah, most definitely. Because the universe has stepped in. The universe has put, you, put each other in your paths so that you can move forward. So you can build something, create something. Um, <clears throat> with the sun, it's all about following your heart, doing what it is that, that is going to make you happy. And you're most definitely following your heart this week. Sorry, I'm just really itchy. Your guys' uh, energy is really strong. But um, some of you could be pregnant. Uh, as you see in the sun card, she has a baby on her hip as well. The empress is pregnant here. So there could be communication that your partner is pregnant or you're communicating with your twin that you are pregnant. But um, it's just, it's a, it's, very beautiful energy. Um, <clears throat> your partner is the queen of cups. And I say this all the time. Anytime I have a king and queen of the same suit come out in the same reading, it is always to me a soulmate connection, a power couple. Um, this person has so much love for you and admiration. Um, they were scared that they weren't going to get a second chance with you. But um, with judgment here, they are going to... Um, to be able to connect with you again. Uh, yeah, this is very strong energy. Very strong. A second chance to create the life that you have been hoping for, dreaming for. Um, and it's guided by the angels. Their uh, last card is the fool. Taking a leap of faith with you. Um, all three of their cards are just, they're all purple. It's so beautiful. So pretty. Um Let's get one for the let's get one for the Empress here. Divine timing. So um gosh, these are all major arcana. All of them except for the four of wands and the king and queen of cups are major arcana. So um it was all about destiny, all about divine timing, all about when the stars align and uh and it's time for you guys to step into your power. It is here. Uh, the new moon is the 7th of December, I believe. Very strong manifesting powers for you guys. Um, make sure you're doing your rituals. What do they need strength in? The three of wands. So right now you could be at a distance. And it's causing you to... Uh, it's testing your faith. Testing your um, patience as well, but they are going to be moving forward towards you. So, um, just keep, keep being strong and know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Know that, that they are coming back to you. Know that, um, this distance is only temporary Just stay strong and continue to go after what it is that you want out of this relationship. Where's the fool here? Page of Cups. Yeah, they're going to take a leap of faith with you and offer you um, this relationship or you to them. Why is judgment here? 
Oh, that one just flew out. The magician. Yeah, so judgment with me, the magician. You guys have so much major arcana here. I cannot believe it. So um, you can manifest. You can manifest this second chance, this new beginning, this gift from the universe to try it one more time. Like I said, December 7th is going to be very important for you guys to manifest this relationship. So make sure you're doing your rituals. Um, very positive energy. Bottom of the deck now for the third time. I'm just now saying something is the Hierophant. It's going to, it's going to move forward into a committed relationship. Um, yeah, most definitely. One card for our air signs this week. Chemistry. There is a strong magnetic connection between the two of you. And that's why you were waiting for the second chance. Cause just for some reason you couldn't seem to forget the chemistry or the connection that the two of you share. So do your um, new moon rituals, set your intentions, write your dreams and wishes down and allow the universe to co-create with you. So, all right guys, I hope you have a beautiful week. God bless.